So you want to start DMing, but you're broke. A daunting task lies ahead of you. But have no fear. I'm here to help. As an ST and DM and GM or whatever you want to call it on a shoestring budget, I understand your plight. There are so many resources out there you can use that are free or next to nothing. So let's dive into this. First up, your writing and notes. I mean, you could do a few notebooks, which would cost you a couple bucks at the Walmart, some pencils and some pens, and that's how I did it when I started. But these days, I love using Google Docs. It is absolutely fantastic. Keeps everything straight and organized just the way you need it, auto-corrects your spelling, and just is right there for you. You can do it anywhere too. So if you get a random idea for a story, you can just open up your Google Docs on your phone and type it out. It's a great resource for anybody looking to run a game and take notes. If you use a tower instead of a laptop, you may need printouts. This is why Google Docs is great. You can export your notes into PDF form and print them out. If you don't have a printer, you can always check your local library. The print rates are normally reasonable, and there is always staples as well. It may be a couple dollars, but that's not bad at all. Now, maps. These can be done with simple sheets of paper and some tape, printer paper, or even wrapping paper. Some wrapping paper comes with a grid on the back, and you can draw the map on that and roll it up for use in the game. It's great. It lets you draw out on a ruler, set the grid size. Everything you need is right there. If you play online, I'm going to recommend a great site called Incarnate. I'll drop a link in the description below. This is a map-making website that is free, but they also have subscription options. Monthly or yearly for five dollars a month or 25 dollars a year you can get access the free version limits you to 10 maps but for the mon monthly investment it's well worth the quality of maps that this thing will put out Virtual tabletops are becoming more and more prominent in the tabletop RPG community, but they also tend to be costly. Roll20 is a free one, but I've not had a lot of positive experiences with it. I myself use Fantasy Grounds Unity, and there's also Foundry. Fantasy Grounds has a one-time buy or a monthly sub, but it does tend to cost. If you're on a budget, go with Roll20. Now minis these are amazingly overpriced bits of plastic that are great when you have the funds but gaming on a budget you got to cut a few corners first up there's simple game pieces that can work you can get these off of amazon i'll provide a link below and you can also use the ones from the board games around your house so you got those options another option for minis is is what my friend did for her tabletop she used hero forge to craft what her character looked like printed it out to the right size and then laminated it and stuck it in a base it was a fantastic idea tilt my hat to you bronwyn up next resource material the dungeons and dragons books aside if you're dming You'll need to write a good story. If you run a setting, look at the wikis. This will save you more money than any single tip here. The setting books that Watsy puts out aren't really worth it. There are third-party books out there, but again, we're on a budget. we got to save money. So using the wikis, they will provide much more information than the books themselves. Heck, you won't even have to buy the books if you just use the SRD. This may lack art, but it's free. Encounter design and CR, this is one of the biggest pains of the butt in 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. Below, I will link a site called Cobalt Fight Club. This will help you with proper CR design in Encounter so you don't have to try to figure it out yourself. I also do believe that the Monsters Manual is in the SRD, so you can use the monsters from that and make fun stuff for your Dungeons & Dragons game. Dice. If you lack funds for dice because, well, I love them and have a math rock addiction myself, they can cost. There's a few options here. Dollar Trees has sets on sale, but it's hit or miss when they're in stock. But don't stop checking. There's also a phone app as well, and there's plenty of free options out there for dice rolls at your table. Most important of all is time. You will need to sit down and work on this. Maybe not full bore, but an hour or two a night till the game is ready, to, or till you think you have enough. Writing a story, designing counters, time is the most valuable thing here. The rough sum up here, if you go for the map sub, the printouts, the cheap dice sets, the game board pieces, it should be around $30 to $40 from somewhere there. And you can start running your own D&D game on a budget. Well, that's what I got for you. Did I miss something? 
any ideas not here, please drop something in the comments below. I would like to know what you do on a budget for Dungeons & Dragons or any other tabletop RPGs. If you like the video, please drop a like, subscribe, and share this out there, and I will catch you in the next one.